G'day folks, Steve from Vintage Restorations Australia here. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks or maybe even a month since we did a video on the electric Land Rover. Um, we had a bit of a rough time of it down here with fires and then subsequent floods. Um, good thing is the floods put the fires out. Um, we're expecting locust plagues next, but anyway, we'll deal with whatever comes. We only really meet once every two weeks and things uh, have conspired against us meeting recently, so that's why the lack of video on this particular project and why I've been playing with my um, little series one at home, which is that other stream of videos that we've just started. Uh, anyway, we're back to it now, and uh, that's where we'll pick it up, playing with the diffs and things. <laughs> This is the front diff that we looked at last time with too much slop between the yep. crown and the pinion and that's without it being properly held at this end. Yeah. So if we had that properly tightened up we'd probably have more slop. So we're going to take it apart and have a look at the bearings. We've got bearings anyway so um, importantly the caps here have to be marked because you don't want to mix them around. They're machined in place and you can You're see a, a factory, no, there's a oh. factory mark there. I think it says E with my bad eyesight, and this one um, has a mark of C. Mm. Spanish for yes. C. <laughs> uh, so we just cut this lock wire. That's pretty easy. Um, lock wire holds this pin in, and it can be bent and locked to hold this cage in any position you want. Mm -hmm. um, and. This cage and the one on the other side um, screw in and out so you can adjust the crown wheel going in or out from the yeah. pinion, take up the slot. So I just have to pull it all apart, clean it, look at the bearings, put it all back together again and adjust it. There is one adjustment we have to be careful with. So there's a specific distance from the top of this pinion down in here to an imaginary rod going all the way through this diff center mm -hmm. and that's very specific it has to be a certain value so we'll check that later on the inevitable cleaning of more diff bits in the last video there's a lot of bloody cleaning and degreasing of crap but that's just resto that's just what you do this one's coming to bits pretty easily so that's a joyous thing so this bearing cap is marked with a C so is the housing and that's C for crown. The crown wheel is on that side, which is very handy. And the um, bearings that we took out have definitely seen better days. There's a bit of pitting and stuff in there. Yeah, you can feel it with your fingernail, it's rough. So I'm happy that we're replacing them. Yeah. Plus, you're this far into rebuilding it, it doesn't take that much to pull these out and replace them. Good thing. You may say that, John. <laughs> But for us mere mortals, it's a frightening thing. By combining bits of one hydraulic presser and bits of another. It works, John, that's the thing. Shims we'll back put on. The stuffed shim in between some good shims, so it's kind of sandwiched. They're on top of the bearings, though. Uh, well, yeah, bearing goes on first, and then this goes to there. Yeah. Should we put the bearing on? Yep. That's us. Brand new. You doing chips again, John? Yep. Bearing chips. There we go. That went on pretty easy. Yep. On and all down the way. Before we put that seal in, we probably want to do the other end mm -hmm. and measure our float and our offset to make sure that's correct in case we have to take it all apart again. No. Oh. Kind of looks like it's going to work. 
Do you want me to hold that? Yeah. Who'd be a mechanic, John? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you never get warts. <laughs> Skin's completely covered in grease, and warts need oxygen to, to breathe. That's the most awful bit of trivia I've heard today. <laughs> Wartless mechanics. It'd be worthwhile being a mechanic because of just that. Oh, where's the... There's going to be people watching our YouTube channel who are going to fact-check that. <laughs> they're, going to be, they're going to be searching mechanics slash warts. 41, 42. Place the slip gauge on the pinion face and hop in the... Too easy, isn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. Let that cool, shrink, do the other side. Spring That's loop. good. Yep. So what have we got there, John? That's the output flange from the pinion on the differential. Yeah. And it's got a worn divot. There's so that's at the rear of the div to the yep. prop shaft. That goes out, prop shaft's here. There's an oil seal, seals on it here, mm -hmm. only it's not going to seal with that. You can feel that when you run your finger over it. Mm. Bit of a divot. So, we ordered some new ones. Unboxing video. All covered in grease. Mm. Nice and smooth where the seal goes. That's quite a comparison, isn't it, really? Yeah, and we just have to take this pressed metal flange off, it's a mud slinger, and put it on here. John, on the... Uh... Ah, my fingernails are going great. That's all grown out now, and this one's just about good. Oh, that's a... They're pretty I'm, dirty, though. I'm sure our subscribers will be pleased to know that. Give them a clean. <laughs> we should have put it in a lower gear. That was quite heavy <laughs> to lift. Oh, I said my gear was easy. Yeah. So we've started stripping down the gearbox, because uh, once we get these diffs done, that's the next thing that has to go in, that and the prop shafts and things. So we started... Uh, Stripping this down. That's the gearbox drain plug, and it's got a bit of like, second gear in it. Gritty <laughs> stuff in there, like really metallic y. I'm lucky I'm not cutting my finger. My finger's better, so that's good. Finger update number two. That's your gearbox, Steve. That's bearings. Ah, oh, synchro. Apparently, that's a common problem. Synchro. Bronze coloured. Well, good thing we don't need synchro. Yeah, we don't need no synchro where we're going. These are underpants, Paul. Oh, sorry. Jeez. When did I leave them laying around? I wish John would not put the underpants in the rag bucket. <laughs> they don't fit. How do they look? Do they make my house look big? Oh, it's Superman! I think that's, I think that's all the pizza you eat. It's not the underpants. That's the before and after. <laughs> this is the Land Rover part. I'll have a clean and I'll put them on. <laughs> so that's starting to come together. We've got Paul out there talking mostly, but also um, tannating the rear diff housing. So that can start going back together. That kind of sums it up for today's activities, folks. Um, I hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. I guess the next day together we'll be reassembling those diffs we had a few delays on the front diff uh, we had there was an odd set of bearings that we had to order they've come in now so that uh, front diff will be going back together with the swivel joints and things um, and hopefully we'll be reassembling the rear diff and getting that all into the vehicle on our next day that we get together 
Uh, the gearbox, you know, obviously we're going to have to strip that down, order some parts for it. That's why we've started that now because we knew there'd be quite a, a delay with working out what parts we need and getting them from the UK. Um, we're yet to find an Australian supplier that we're actually happy with. Um, so we've been ordering parts from paddocks in the UK uh, and we find them fantastic and quite affordable. Um, if there's a good parts supplier out there in Australia, we'd love to hear from you. Um, and we're happy to buy parts in Australia, but at this point we haven't had great service or uh, anything from any Australian suppliers. So that's where we're at with that. Um, we're getting pretty close to a thousand subscribers, which is great because at a thousand subscribers we start to uh, monetize the channel and uh, make a few few dollars, few cents from uh, each time you watch the video. We'll get a little tiny amount of money, um, which is kind of would be helpful um so please subscribe if you haven't like and share it so other people see the channel and uh you know we'll keep producing the videos and sharing uh the small amount of knowledge that we don't have if you've got any questions queries or whatever uh as usual pop them down there in the comments section anyway till next week uh or next time we'll see you take care of yourselves people mm -hmm.